SQL session in MyBetis. Here you can see a SQL session. Uh, Uh, as its name suggests, SQL session corresponds to a database session. Uh, since database session is not permanent, the life cycle of a session should not be permanent. On the on contrary, you need to create it every time you access the database. Of course, it does not, it does not mean that you can execute, uh, you can only execute SQL once in SQL session. You can execute multiple times when the SQL session is to be reacted, recreated once it is closed. Let's look at the, uh, look at how to get SQL session first. For SQL session, uh, factory builder reads the configuration file of MyBetis uh, and then builds the default SQL session uh, factory. Uh, the, we then, uh, when we get the SQL session factory, we can get uh, uh, SQL session object through the uh, SQL session factory. Through the above step, steps, we have obtained a SQL session object. Uh, then you can uh, 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 and here you can see a uh, actor is here and SQL session factory builder default SQL session factory and default SQL session uh, is one uh, built um, actor is connected to SQL session factory builder via build here SQL session factory is connected to its itself then uh, uh, build configuration and sequence session factory is the builder is connected to default sequence uh, default session sql session factory and then uh, return default sql session factory to sql session factory builder uh, then it's connected to here uh, the sql session factory builder is going to return default session uh, default sql session factory to the actor then uh, uh, it's uh, actor here the open uh, uh, actor is connected to default S uh, SQL session factory via open session then uh, uh, default session factory is connected to itself via open session from data source then uh, the, uh, default factory uh, default session factory is, uh, is connected to default SQL session factory is connected to default SQL session here then it returned default SQL session. Uh, then it returned default SQL session factory to actor. Now, uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching it.